A DC generator is an electrical device that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy in the form of DC power. It operates on the principle of electromagnetic induction, which states that an electromotive force, EMF, is induced across the ends of a conductor when it moves through a magnetic field. This induced EMF generates a current if the conductor is part of a closed circuit. Today, we'll dissect a DC generator, exploring its essential components, including the yoke, poles, field winding, armature, commutator, brushes, and bearings. In this video, we will also explain the construction and working of a DC generator in detail, as well as its types and applications. Let's delve deeper into the core components of a DC generator, starting with the yoke. The yoke forms the outer shell of the generator and is pivotal not only for holding the magnetic poles but also for protecting the internal components. Typically crafted from robust materials like cast iron or steel, the yoke also plays a crucial role in carrying the magnetic flux produced by the field windings. Moving on to the poles and field winding, these elements are integral to producing the main magnetic field within the generator. Affixed to the yoke's inner periphery, the poles are constructed from laminated steel sheets designed to minimize eddy current losses. These poles are salient, extending inward towards the armature, with pole shoes that help distribute the magnetic flux evenly across the air gap and provide a base for the field coils. The field coils, wrapped around the poles, are made from insulated copper wire or strips. They receive direct current either from an external source or a separate exciter and are configured in series or parallel with the armature winding, aligning with the direction of rotation. Next, let's talk about the armature, the heart of the DC generator. The armature is the rotating component where the electromotive force is induced by the magnetic field. It consists of a core made from laminated steel sheets featuring slots that house the insulated armature conductors. These laminations are crucial as they significantly reduce eddy current losses within the core. The commutator then takes center stage, a mechanical marvel that transforms the alternating EMF from the armature winding into a steady direct voltage at the generator's terminals, effectively acting as a rectifier. Lastly, the brushes and bearings play critical supporting roles. The brushes, made of carbon or graphite, facilitate the transfer of current from the commutator segments to the external circuit, maintaining essential electrical contact between the stationary and rotating parts. Meanwhile, the bearings ensure the shaft rotates smoothly and uniformly, minimizing friction and supporting the rotating shaft. Understanding these components is essential for grasping how a DC generator functions, setting the stage for exploring its operation and applications in detail. Now that we've examined the core components of a DC generator, let's explore how these parts work together to produce electricity. When a prime mover, such as an IC engine or turbine, drives the generator, it sets the shaft and consequently the armature into motion. As the armature spins, each conductor within its winding cuts through the magnetic field established by the poles and field winding. According to Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction, an EMF is induced in each conductor. This EMF is proportional to the rate of change of the magnetic flux linkage. To determine the direction of this induced EMF, we can use Fleming's right-hand rule, which provides a handy mnemonic for remembering the orientations of force, field, and current. As the armature continues to rotate, the induced EMF in each conductor alternates as it moves under different magnetic poles. The total induced EMF in each coil of the armature winding is the sum of the EMFs induced in its individual conductors. This alternating nature of EMF is crucial but to provide a steady output, the DC generator employs a commutator. The commutator segments, connected to the ends of each coil, reverse their connections with the brushes every half turn of the armature. This ingenious mechanism reverses the current direction in each coil at precisely the right moment, 
ensuring that a unidirectional or direct current flows through the external circuit. The magnitude of this generated voltage can be mathematically expressed as E equal to P phi Zn by 60A, where P represents the number of poles, phi is the flux density, Z stands for the number of conductors, N is the speed of rotation, and A denotes the number of parallel paths in the armature winding. By understanding this principle, we can appreciate not just the mechanical ingenuity, but also the mathematical beauty underlying the operation of DC generators. As we dive deeper into the world of DC generators, it's essential to understand the different types available and their specific applications. Primarily, DC generators are classified based on their method of excitation into three types, separately excited, self-excited and permanent magnet DC generators. Firstly, Separately excited DC generators feature an external power source used to energize their field winding. This setup allows for excellent control over the output voltage, making these generators ideal for applications requiring stable voltage, such as in laboratory testing equipment and precision machine tools. Moving on to self-excited DC generators. These are designed to use their own generated voltage to power the field windings. There are three subtypes here, series, shunt, and compound. Series generators, where the field winding is connected in series with the armature, are not commonly used due to their unstable voltage at varying loads, but find their place in arc welding. Shunt generators have their field winding connected parallel to the armature and are used in battery charging and lighting due to their ability to provide steady voltage. Compound generators combining features of both series and shunt are employed in applications like electric traction, where voltage stability under changing load conditions is crucial. Lastly, permanent magnet DC generators, which do not require field winding for the generation of the magnetic field, use permanent magnets. These generators are simpler and more robust making them perfect for portable electronic devices and automotive applications such as motorcycle battery charging. Each type of DC generator has been engineered to meet specific requirements, showcasing the versatility and adaptability of these machines across various industries from automotive to industrial manufacturing, proving their critical role in today's technology-driven world. That's all for today. Do you have any questions about DC generators? Leave a comment below and let's keep the conversation charged. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more adventures in the world of electrical engineering.